Number 15 on this list is Justin Herbert. I can't believe my eyes. How could you put Dak Prescott at number five and Herbert at 15? What are y'all watching over at Pro Football Focus? I need to see these numbers y'all looking at, okay? And I, I, I read the little... I read the little blurb that said that y'all went back into previous seasons, but you can only work off of what you got at the NFL level. And Dak Prescott has not been better than Justin Herbert over the last three years. This is ridiculous, okay? Ahead of him as well, Derek Carr in the division. Kirk Cousins. I'm just going to start calling him the money man because if he don't do nothing, he get paid. Yo, Kirk Baker, Mayf- Baker, ba- Baker Mayfield and Matt Ryan. Bro, Matt Ryan ain't been good for four years. All right, let, let, let's just go to the beginning of this. So this is actually very interesting yeah, to me. Me too. Very interesting. So, okay, Justin Herbert's number 15 in the NFL, according to Pro Football Focus. Yes. And according to all the statistics, which, by the way, are based on, I think, 15 games. Isn't that what Herbert played last year, 15 total games? I think he, it was game two. Right. Or was it game three? It game two. Okay, game two is where he took over. Okay. So in 15 games, the numbers say this, whereas in Dak Prescott's career, Let's just say the number is 60 games. Dak Prescott's 60 game totals say this. Right. What I'm surprised at from the very beginning is you're telling me that Dak Prescott, over the course of, let's, again, this is just theoretical, 60 games, he's a top five statistical quarterback in the NFL. Like, I know that he had some really big passing numbers last year before he got hurt, but I mean, if, if, if it's all statistic based and there's no stat at the end that says wins loss, Dak Prescott is higher than Lamar Jackson on this list. Yeah, that that's that's insanity. Okay, so get, so let you want the top for, ten? I have them. Yeah, I do. I do. Number go in descending order if you don't mind. Okay, go, well go let's start, start at fifteenth since that's where we started. Okay. Justin Herbert fifteenth, mm-hmm. Kirk Cousins fourteenth. Mm-hmm. It's way too low. Uh, Derek Carr thirteenth. <laughs> way too. I'm high. surprised by that. Yeah. Way too high. I'm Ryan really Tannehill twelfth. Okay. Okay, yeah, I can buy that. He's actually a lot better than his previously thought, I think. Uh, Matthew, yeah, I think there was a perception of him in Miami versus what he is in Tennessee. Go I'll ahead. give you that. Yes. Uh, Matthew Stafford, 11. Is is 11? Yeah. Um, Statistically I, up there. Yeah, I, I can live with Sta- – I, like, to me, Stafford's not a top five. He's not a top 10. He's he's a he's a top 15 is how I would kind of describe him. All right, Which go ahead. Which is there, 11. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. 10, Baker Mayfield. Okay. Oh, no, no, I, I can buy that. No, no. Here's why, though. But here's why. Let me just explain why. Because again, he's got two seasons as a starter, as I recall. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Does that sound right? Okay, two or three. The fir- the f- I thought it was three, but okay, yes. Okay, but but let, okay. So let's say three. Mm-hmm. He's had to change head coaches. He's had to change coordinators, and he went to a garbage organization that, in three years, has gone from the worst of the worst to making it to the playoffs. But, and by the way, having a very competitive game against the Chiefs in Kansas City. For years. I would argue I would argue his success is purely based on the defensive side of the football. Oh, I don't agree. Okay. Scott, right here though. Yeah. Just no no love for your boy, yeah. dude. Give Number coach nine. of the year Kevin Stefanski a ton of credit for how he yeah. helped set up his quarterback for success. No love. No. Nah, no, no. Number I mean, 9. No yeah. Matt Ryan. Please. See, I, I have a real problem with this because Matt Ryan to me is, is he, look, we talk about Aaron Rodgers, right? And we all know about Aaron Rodgers' greatness, but we also know that he's only been to one Super Bowl. Matt Ryan to me is kind of the same, not the same statistically, but like he's been a starter for a long time. He went to one Super Bowl, he lost it. And since that Super Bowl, the Falcons have trended downward. So he's, you know who he is to me, Matt Ryan? He's like Philip Rivers with one Super Bowl loss mm. in his career. Mm. That's I, a good point. I have many issues with this list, but the top, this is what Browner started is not where I would start. But anyways, number eight, mm-hmm. uh, where were we? Lamar Jackson. Yeah. He needs to be way higher because number higher. seven is Dak Prescott. Oh, seven is Prescott. I thought you said he was five. He is seven. five. Seventh is Are Dak sure? Prescott. Yep. Hold on. Number six, Josh Allen. See, now that one right there, that surprises me because he's also a young quarterback, Mm -hmm. like a Lamar Jackson, like a Baker Mayfield. He's super young, and I'm surprised that he's played in enough games to warrant that sort of statistical. This is also where I have issues, but when we finish the top 10, I'll tell you why. Number five, Mm -hmm. Deshaun Watson. 
No yeah, problems. So. No problems. Okay. Yeah, the, the rest is fine. Number four, yeah. Russell Wilson. Mm-hmm. Yes. Number three, Aaron Rodgers. Mm-hmm. Number two, Tom Brady. Number one, Patrick Mahomes. Top five, I have um, no problem with. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't have any problem with the top five. But I mean, yeah. I think I, I'm not sure about the order. I don't have a problem with the top six. I don't mind Josh Allen either. I mean, he's yeah. I, I don't mind Josh Allen either. My, but you're talking about what you said. Like, has he earned the right to be a top six quarterback? Whatever this list is, and whatever you know guidelines they issued, how can you have Trevor Lawrence and Justin Fields, list? baby, and Justin 25. Fields and, <laughs> higher than Jared Goff? Like they've never played. Jared Goff went to the Super Bowl. Say what you will about Jared Goff. How can they be ahead of him already? Well, who, who's 32? I mean, because we'll st- no, that the whole list. That, here you go. Yeah. Drew Locke, Broncos. Is what? Is 32? 32nd. Uh huh. Jalen Hurts, 31st, Eagles. Zach, Zach Wilson of the Jets, 30th. But well, how oh. can that possibly be? Oh. How can this be? Like, I don't even. Oh. Uh, Tua, 29th. That's where um, he belongs. Sam Darnold, 28th. That's where he belongs. Cam Newton, 27th. That's where he belongs. Don't even get me started. Don't Jared get me started. Goff, 26th. Mm-hmm. That's where Justin, he belongs. Jared, Justin Fields, 25th. Okay. I respect Ridiculous. that. Respect Terrible. that. Respect A that. combo of Jameis and Taysom Hill, 24th. Oh, good oh, God. No. <laughs> they're, good they're, God. Better than, they're better than Jared Goff, according to them. Oh, yeah. my God. Uh, 23rd, Carson Wentz. <laughs> That's terrible. Dude, like, 20, dude, what? 20, 20, 22nd, Jimmy Garoppolo. 21st, oh. Trevor Lawrence. That, well, okay, tw- Trevor Lawrence. Jimmy Garoppolo has been to a Super Bowl right. for crying out loud. I mean, he was terrible. And he didn't have to throw the ball. And when he had one chance to win the game, he overthrew his receiver. But come on, man. <laughs> 20th, Daniel Jones. Who? Wow. Daniel Jones. From the Giants? Yeah. Terrible. Wow. 19th, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Yeah, um, anyway. Okay. Him. 18th, yeah. Joe Burrow. Wait, and wow. We, and did we forget about wow. this guy? 17th, Kyler mm-hmm. Murray. That's wow. too, well, That's not high enough. Wow, that's that's brutal. That's okay. Brutal. And, ben, and then 16. Ben, Big Ben. Ben Roethlisberger, 16. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> and this is a li- – okay, listen. I'll tell you, like, Browner, this is a great topic, man. This, awesome, for real. Uh, Bruce Gradkowski wrote this. Remember the old quarterback? Mm-hmm. Uh, he says, PFF's quarterback rankings are based on grading every player on every play and tapping into multiple years of data to project future performance. Mm-hmm. So okay. – there you so go. You're, you're tapping into Justin Fields, Trevor Lawrence, and I think there was and Zach Jones. You're tapping into what they Zach might Wilson. be. Zach Jones is the <laughs> basketball Wilson. coach at Balboa, dude. He's Zach Zach. Wilson. Zach Wilson. Daniel right. Jones. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get if there. you combine them, they'll probably be a great quarterback. That is yeah. hilarious. That's a yeah. you know, I didn't know pro football focus, but everybody does it. You know, the clickbait is you got to do it. Yeah. You got to do but th- listen. If but if you're statistically based, you can't be clickbait. If you're, st- but if, it's projecting performance in the future. That was the list, right? And that's it's 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 focus. It's not on the past in this mm-hmm. you know instance. It's taking the data and and projecting into the future. This is a great topic, actually. So you're going to tell me through projection that Dak Prescott is going to be better mm-hmm. than Justin Herbert? Well, that's that's what they're that's what they're projecting based on all the numbers. He must watch Charger they- games. Yeah, they must really understand who who Justin Herbert plays for. <laughs> <laughs> they'll catch up eventually, Browder. Ah, you know, they'll like hey, Herbert's gonna be great, but he's always gonna be on a bad team. <laughs>